Get your decade ahead horoscope now at NadiaShaw.com. Hello, fabulous Taurus. Welcome to your horoscope for the month of July 2019. Looking at life and love. I am your astrologer, Nadia Shaw. Thank you for being here. What an amazing month it is. We have an active and fabulous sky playing out right now, and it is eclipse season. It's all about eclipse season right about now. And the first eclipse happens right out of the gate. It's right around Tuesday the 2nd, give or take a day on either side, depending on where we are on the planet, that we will have a powerful solar eclipse. Now this eclipse is happening in a part of the sky for you that has to do with communication of all kinds. It has to do with your relationship with siblings, cousins, and neighbors. Your learning, your thought processes, uh, contracts, negotiations are covered here as well. Now, what makes this solar eclipse distinctive besides the fact that it is an eclipse and that inherently means surprise and alignment with a higher, more loving vision for your life, but that it is also standing across the sky from Saturn and speaking in supreme harmony with Neptune. So it's that Neptunian energy that I'm really excited about for you. I think you are just gonna enjoy that immensely. It represents a sense that things are changing in a way that feels inspiring and elating. But we also have Saturn standing across from this solar eclipse, which means that there's also a factor there that feels uh, restricting, that feels uncertain. It could be that the changes happening now are not of your own choosing. However, if you embrace it, if you roll with it, you'll that much more quickly get to the inspiration, the unleashing of a sense of spiritual reward and creative reward as well. So for some of you, this is gonna play out just in terms of communication. So this could be anything from uh, media, right? If you're in the media or you get some media attention, it could be random conversations as well but they will in some way open up greater reward to you, but at the same time, possibly, um, have you feeling as if you have to work within a framework that isn't always comfortable. For others of you, if it is uh, that this has to do with uh, getting a message, which is very possible now, again, there may be some factors there that are less than ideal, that feel like you are gonna have to compromise, but at the same time, you can see the potential for how great this can be. And for those of you who are um, using this energy in terms of siblings, cousins, and neighbors, well, that is when the energy gets that much more interesting. On the one hand, it could be that these people, one of these people is making decisions. Uh, it may or may not even affect you, but you may have mixed feelings about it. You may feel that this is gonna mean more responsibility for you, makes you aware of how much restriction there is in your own life, but at the same time, there's a sense of happiness as well, a sense of great potential as a result of what is changing for these people in your periphery now. Now, as we navigate later into the month, it is going to be right in the middle of the month, right around the 18th is when we are going to have the lunar eclipse. What makes this lunar eclipse distinctive is that it will be happening hand in hand with Saturn and Pluto and the South Node. We also have a harmonious connection with Neptune, but it is uh, one that is what astrologers call a sextile. It's a easier harmony, if you will. Now, this energy is interesting for a few reasons. It is change. That's what this says. It says transformation. It says all or nothing. At the same time though, that energy of Neptune can encourage us to have faith, to believe that great things are possible. For you, this eclipse has to do with understanding your place in the world, uh, everything from your philosophical orientation to long distance travel, immigration, citizenship, higher learning, legal matters are covered here as well. Chances are things are gonna move very quickly. And it is almost as if you will know where it is that you are, not only where you're meant to be in the world, but where you are no longer meant to be. Now again, that could be a philosophical place but that could be a literal place as well. It becomes undoubted when we have energy like this, karmically speaking, where it is that you are meant to go next, but more importantly, where it is you are no longer meant to be. This can bring very quick closures to legal matters if you're engaged in them, 
But here's the thing, it's a lunar eclipse, which means this isn't gonna be something really new out of nowhere, okay? Yes, the way the information comes to you may feel like a surprise, eclipses have that nature, but chances are what does transpire now, um, it isn't something new out of nowhere, but rather it is a closure of a long-standing matter. And at the same time, yes, it feels intense, but it also feels downright inspiring what happens now, the way in which it frees you. You can see the potential as to how it is that what is transpiring is moving you in a more positive, certainly a more loving direction. Now, where it comes to matters of love, um, with this uh, particular time frame for much of this month, we have got Venus really under the light of the eclipse at the start of the month, moving into that same part of the sky, that very communicative, mind-oriented part of the sky. And so, at least where it comes to love, it's going to be that much easy to express yourself, to communicate, to share of yourself. If you're open to meeting someone new, it may be the online connections that uh, seem to be especially inviting to you now. If it is that you are just getting to know somebody, you know, this month is going to involve really understanding this person more on a mind level and from there making a decision, having to look at who this person really is and deciding if it works for you or not. And for those of you in an established bond, look, Venus in this part of the sky in and of itself can make it really easy to talk about things that would otherwise be difficult to discuss, but we have an eclipse in this part of the sky, right? And we have Mercury retrograde this month as well. And part of that Mercury retrograde will also be in this part of the sky. And so some things to keep in mind here are as easy as it is to communicate under this energy, thanks to Venus. At the same time though, what it is that is understood may actually end up being different than the intention. And that will really reveal itself to you more clearly in the last week of this month and once we get into the early part of April as well. However, with Venus, there is nothing that cannot be put right by speaking the truth of your heart. It will be understood. What I love about this month for you, it's gotta be the eclipses, of course. They are dramatic and profound and beautiful. They are karmic, meaning that it is always a part of a higher, more loving vision for your life to align yourself with wherever it is these changes are taking you. I'm not saying it's always gonna be easy for all people, but if you roll with it, chances are you'll get to that place of big blessings sooner than you think. Well, thank you so much for watching. Obviously, the background's a little bit uh, different. My dog was just uh, really, really causing a ruckus. And I said, okay, you want to be in the video? Let's put you in the video. So that was Biggie that you met a little bit earlier. But if you would like a video just like this, maybe not always with Biggie, but sometimes he does insist on making an appearance. But if you would like a video like this every single week, log on to NadiaShaw.com, sign up to be one of my superstars. Superstars get expanded exclusive video scopes each and every week, unlimited access to special horoscopes and more, all of this in the superstar space. I look forward to meeting you there. It'll be a great month, enjoy.